Okay, today we have the Senior Scientist of the Pacific Bio. Say hello, Nick. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> so, Dr. Nicholas, I heard that um, azathioprine is one of the most potent antioxidants in the whole wide world. Do these species, Imagicopcus fluviaris, <laughs> produce azathioprine in the first place? So, it's a cell protective mechanism, and the conditions start degrading, so that could be an increase in salinity, uh, loss of nutrients, or a decrease in nutrients, an increase in temperature, an increase in UV. Uh, all these stress parameters will um, trigger the production of astaxanthin by this species. And this is a protective mechanism by these cells for survival. Once it's flooded itself with astaxanthin, the entire cell goes red, and these cells can survive up to 40 years. Can you compare that to, say, vitamin C or CoQ10, for instance? Um, it's about 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C and about 800 times stronger than uh, coenzyme Q10, so particularly powerful uh, product. The that particularity with astaxanthin is that it sits across, when we consume it, it sits across our um, cell membranes, mm -hmm. providing antioxidant protection outside the cell, inside the cell, and within the membrane itself. Whereas, for example, vitamin C will sit exclusively on the outside of our cells and oh. provide localized antioxidant capacity there. Whereas uh, beta carotene, mm -hmm. it's another example which actually goes and sits within the cell membrane. Alrighty, well that was a short interview with uh, the senior scientist at Rebasta, Dr. Nicholas. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you. <laughs>